So for this mod, we need to take about two and a half or three millimeters off of this notch uh, that stops the head from traveling back. I've got my calipers marked and I'm just going to make a, a rough mark so that I know where I, where I should go or how much I should cut off. And I'm also going to make, just, just to make sure, I'm going to make a mark for the, uh, just color the whole section that I want to take off uh, so that I can see when I'm done. So in order to pre protect the lead screw, uh, all I've got here is a, is a scrap piece of aluminum tubing with a, a notch cut, a slot cut in it. So I can just set it right over the lead screw and then when I use my Dremel tool uh, against uh, this section right here, if it runs off and, and hits this, it won't damage the lead screw. So making sure that I'm wearing proper safety gear uh, and using just a, a general purpose cutting uh, cutoff wheel on my Dremel, I'm going to go ahead and, and very gently and, and carefully uh, remove that shaded section of of the stop. The important thing is to work slowly and carefully. Don't try and take off more than you need to, uh, or don't try and take it all off at once. Just work your way into it. So, as you can see, we've got a fine layer of metal shavings, which, as you can imagine, won't work very well with a, a floppy drive. So, I'm going to use uh, some canned air, uh, a brush, uh, a vacuum cleaner, really anything that uh, anything and everything I can to clean the shavings out and make sure that uh, the whole area is clean now. So now that I've sprayed it off, brushed it off, vacuumed it, uh, sprayed it uh, with isopropyl alcohol and blown it off, um, I always take a take a few seconds to just kind of check the chassis over, uh, make sure that everything's secure, make sure that everything's clean. Uh, chances are your drive is uh, you know, is, is going to be 15 or 20 years old um, and who knows what sort of shape it was in when you got it. So just give everything a quick, uh, quick look over. Uh, check the, check the, the clamp, make sure that it spins freely. Um, just kind of give things a, a good look. Now that we're finished the chassis, let's start taking a look at the, uh, let's start taking a look at the drive head. Uh, so I've put a piece of a folded piece of paper in between the heads, just so that they don't bang against each other while we're uh, while we're working on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the drive rail out and set it aside. And now let's take a, a really close look at the the modifications that we're going to be doing. The modifications are in three key areas. The first is modifying the left rear bushing by pushing the bushing in farther and removing the excess plastic around uh, around the bushing. If you 
look inside, and it's kind of hard to see on the video, but if you look inside, you can actually see that there's a good amount of plastic between the bushing and the end of the of the kind of the, the bushing socket that the bushing is pressed into. So all we're going to do is push this bushing flat up against this face uh, so that it's flush against this face here, which will give us some room to grind down here and will extend the backward travel of the head carriage. Likewise, the second area that we're going to modify is we're just going to we're just going to trim this section back just this whole section uh, trim it back until it is just about just about touching the uh, just about touching the uh, the screw here so just about even with and then the third area that we're going to be modifying is the track zero actuator I'm going to flip it over so we can get a better look. So this is looking at the track zero actuator from the underside. Um, we need to remove a we need to remove a little bit here, just a little crescent shape, so that when it moves this extra little bit back, it won't impact and get hung up on the the front of the lead screw assembly. Uh, if we if we don't cut off a little bit, when it backs up, it will hit uh, the it, it will bind against the uh, the this front of the leaf screw assembly, and it won't get the full travel back. So the best way I found to push this bushing down is to use a steel rod in uh, in my drill in my drill press. Uh, to uh, to apply firm, steady, even pressure uh, against the bushing to push it down, and to use a, a a piece of metal on the back to stop it when it's moved far enough. Uh, the the rod I use is a 15 64ths inch uh, uh, transfer punch. So what I've got here is my is my steel rod in my drill press. I've got a piece of aluminum here uh, that just makes a, 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 an anvil basically for me to press uh, against and to stop the bushing when it's gone far enough. Um, so I just set it up in here and make sure that it's lined up right. Um, and then brace everything well and just give it a, a, a firm, steady pressure to seat it. It doesn't take much pressure and it only moves uh, like maybe two and a half or three millimeters um, and then that's it.